Also, I may have gone and done a thing. What do you guys think? So the reason I wanted to make this really quick video, maybe you needed to hear it, maybe I just needed to hear it. You have to find what you love to do and then you have to do other things as well. I'm not saying I love photography, I should just do other stuff even though I love it, just let it be the lost love, no. Do what you love, absolutely. But you can't do it all the time. You will burn out, it'll lose its luster, you won't love it as much as you once did. You have to find other things that you enjoy, something way off the map from what you're actually doing. So for me, the example here, I love photography, I love videography, I love making videos for you guys, but if you're doing just that all the time, it might lose that spark. So what I've decided to do is teach myself how to tattoo. It's not the only right answer. You don't have to go out and buy a tattoo gun, teach yourself to tattoo. For me, it's another creative outlet that's so far off from the video and photo world. Think about it. Holding that camera in your hand, you press a button, it takes the picture for you, then you have to upload that to the computer. It's a very, very digital process. You're sliding sliders and moving things around digitally to get the result that you want. The tattooing for me is another creative outlet because it's very hands-on, it's very dirty. There's like, well, it's not very dirty, it's actually very clean to be sanitary. But you're making ink marks, a permanent mark in someone's skin, or in my case right now, practice skin. My tattoos are absolutely god-awful. Check these out. <laughs> I'm actually terrible right now, but I promise you I will get better. Look at that. Look at that face. I wouldn't trust me to tattoo you. No dice. This is actually the first one I did. Yep. And this is getting a little bit better, but still not great. It doesn't mean you have to be amazing at what you're learning to do or the, the thing that you're doing that isn't what you love, but it's important to do something else so that you're not constantly in that one frame of mind doing the same thing over and over again. My advice and what's worked for me is to find something that you enjoy doing something like a hobby, but that's way off the map. You know what I mean? If you're a graphic designer by day, don't find a similar graphic design related hobby to do at night. It's just gonna blend together and it's gonna feel like all the same thing. So you're a graphic designer by day, try knitting at night. Try planting a garden, tending to a garden, something way off the map that you can get focused in that you still enjoy doing, but it's different from what you do. I think everybody, myself included, needs to have a little break from the things they're working on, whether it be for fun, passion, for work. If you guys agree, disagree, let me know down in the comments. I wanna open this up to discussion and you know get a little bit of insight as to what you guys think. How do you guys cope with doing the same thing all the time, every day? Do you lose that passion? Do you love what you do so much that you can do it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and not lose any passion at all? I'm really curious. Hit that subscribe button, let's become friends, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Love ya.